Hey, a car came crashing through the building. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News. I'm Kevin Kelly. And I'm Donna Terrell. Divine intervention indeed, because tonight we could be telling you a very different story. But our Claire Kreitz spoke with church members and shows us how this story miraculously unfolds. His house is an outreach ministry for College Church here in Searcy. They typically feed those in need twice a week right inside this building. Now you can see these boards mark the spot where that car came barreling through just 15 minutes after that meal had ended and everybody left for the day. There's a lot of cars at his house, a lot of emergency vehicles. As church administrator Nick McNabb pulled into the his house parking lot, he saw a gaping hole in the side of the building. And I just assumed it had kind of been hit and then the car, they had already pulled the car back out and all of that. Well, boy, was I wrong. As he got a closer look. I went inside and there was an SUV and a 16-foot trailer all the way inside the building. McNabb couldn't believe what he found. I was kind of assessing the, the shock and the awe of what happened and how quickly something like that can happen. Part of that shock, no one was injured. Our crew is usually there. His house employees and volunteers had just wrapped up feeding those in need. The main volunteer left just 15 minutes before the car plowed through the side. Your mind starts to wonder, thinking, oh my goodness, what if somebody had just been on the other side of that wall or waiting outside and the car comes? McNabb says seeing the boards come Covering the hole and damage to the inside, the fact that no one was inside or even around the building can only be described as a miracle. Kind of count your blessings and know that the Lord was looking out. A lot of what was damaged was storage of clothes and shoes and offices. McNabb says the insurance adjuster still has to come out before the repairs start. Reporting in Searcy, I'm Claire Kreitz. Back to you.